The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. If only we could see as God sees. Haven't we all had a time in our life when we wished that God would just speak plainly so that we could help see as God sees in the circumstances of our lives? Perhaps in times when we were suffering or in times when we just didn't understand why something was happening. I imagine it must have been confusing for the early disciples when on one hand, Jesus was saying, you're gonna have trouble in the future. And on the other hand, he's saying, have peace in me because I have conquered the world. After all, when we're suffering with something, it feels like just about anything but victory. If there has been victory, why do there still have to be troubles? Today, the same Lord who offers these disciples peace offers us peace today as we too embrace our own challenges, our own hurdles, our own struggles 2,000 years later in 2021. But how exactly do we find peace in the midst of difficulty? How do we find it when we feel alone? How do we find peace when we feel as if our circumstances have gotten the best of us? How do we find peace in the midst of tragedy? Jesus invites the disciples to take courage. And this is not the kind of courage as if we're talking about bravely entering into something. The kind of courage that Jesus is talking about here when we look at the Greek is courage in the sense of confidence. Facing the difficulties and struggles of life with confidence. Jesus asks us to have confidence in him, in his words, and in his promises. For if we have confidence in him, then we have confidence in his promises. And if we have confidence in his promises, then we can cling to those promises when life gets tough. And as we cling to his promises, our hearts and minds are gradually transformed to begin to look upon our trials as God does. We see our trials are not ones we undergo by ourselves. Our trials do not have the final say. And even in our darkest, deepest moments, as we await that glorious day when there's no more suffering, God is still showing up and working good in the midst of it. As we know, St. Rita suffered many trials in her life. And through that suffering, she discovered through the words of Christ the path to peace. The word of God enabled her to avoid the feeling of revenge when her husband was unjustly murdered as she reflected on Jesus' own words, his own vision of forgiveness and reconciliation, and that enabled her to become a peacemaker by encouraging others to do the same. The word of God helped her when her two sons died and she was left alone in the world and discovered that she really was not alone and that she didn't have to fall into despair. And the word of God enabled her to have perseverance in the face of initially being rejected from the convent, a decision that would have been very confusing, very disappointing to her, a decision that probably would have led her to say, God, would you just speak plainly and tell me what's going on? Because she felt so closely called by God by God to that convent. 
but God used this time between when she was rejected and when she would initially be accepted to invite her to work to become a peacemaker in her community. And through this, she and all of us who are inspired by her learned that even in the darkest, most disappointing points of life, God shows up and works good in our lives. St. Rita is an example for all of us as someone who suffered, as someone who likely faced the same questions we face today, someone who found peace by learning through the words of Christ how to see her trials as God saw them. Perhaps we have something in our own lives where we're waiting for God to still speak something plainly about what's going on. And as we learn from St. Rita's example, the more confident we become in his promises, the more we discover that while faith doesn't always eliminate the problem, we can be confident that it does carry us through it. While faith doesn't always take away the pain, faith does give us a way to deal with it. While faith doesn't always calm the storm, it calms each and every one of us in the midst of it. This is the peace that Christ offers. Do we have the confident courage to accept it? As we remember St. Rita throughout this novena, we ask her to intercede for us in our own journey of faith, our journey of developing confidence in all that has been promised to us, so that we too can experience the peace of Christ as we come to see our own trials small and large alike, as he sees them, to see plainly as the God of the universe sees what a gift of our faith. Saint Rita, pray for us. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and our hearts will be renewed. And you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just, and the constant enjoyment of his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of pure love, pray for us. Holy Mary, Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of all the saints, pray for us. Holy Mary, Model of life for Saint Rita, pray for us. Saint Rita, our Advocate and Protectress, pray for us. Saint Rita, beloved by the Lord, pray for us. Saint Rita, given special grace from heaven, pray for us. Saint Rita, remarkable in childhood, pray for us. Saint Rita, Model of obedience to God's will, pray for us. Saint Rita, of untiring patience, pray for us. Saint Rita, model of Christian mothers. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror for Christian spouses. Pray for us. Saint Rita, heroic in sacrifice. Pray for us. Saint Rita, generous in forgiving. Pray for us. Saint Rita, martyr in penitence. Pray for us. Saint Rita, embracing humility and poverty. Pray for us. Saint Rita, exemplary as a widow. Pray for us. Saint Rita, prompt to answer the divine call. Pray for us. Saint Rita, patient in suffering. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror of religious observance. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mystical rose of every virtue. Pray for us. Saint Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Rita, pierced with a thorn. Pray for us. Saint Rita, in ecstasy before the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for us. Saint Rita, consumed with divine love. Pray for us. Saint Rita received into heaven with joy. Pray for us. Saint Rita incorrupt in your chaste body. Pray for us. Saint Rita advocate of impossible cases. Pray for us. Saint Rita persevering in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Rita help of those in need. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you have signed your servant Rita. With the marks of your love and compassion. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Rita such grace that she loved her enemies and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion. Grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your sufferings and passion, may we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. You live and reign forever. Amen. Glorious Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified, we have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our petitions and show your power with God in our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us, if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise, if our petitions are granted, to make known your favor and to glorify God for his gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you. By the singular merits of your childhood, obtain a request for us. By your perfect union with the divine will, obtain a request for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life, obtain a request for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband, obtain a request for us. By the surrender of your children rather than have them offend God, obtain a request for us. By your miraculous entrance into the convent, obtain a request for us. By your daily penance and fasting, obtain a request for us. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior, obtain a request for us. By the divine love which consumed your life, obtain a request for us. By your devotion in receiving the Blessed Sacrament, obtain a request for us. By the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ, obtain a request for us. By the example you have given to people of every state of life, obtain a request for us. Pray for us, Saint Rita. That we may be glory in the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh.